So cancel culture is a cancer on society, but nowhere is it more obvious than when it comes to comedy. It seems that comedians can't tell simple jokes anymore. You watch comedians nowadays, and none of it is very funny, unless, of course, it's one of our own, like Leo Kurse, because he's not afraid to offend people. But nowadays, the people that are watching comedy are too concerned about being virtue signalling, and they're too concerned about what these comedians are saying about things, instead of just, instead of just going to the comedy for a good laugh. We need to get back to a point in comedy and also other forms of art where artists are just allowed to be artists, where they don't have to be con too concerned about offending people. We need comedy to be funny again. And comedy's not going to be funny as long as people are concerned about cancel culture. Leo, you're a comedian. I am. You don't strike me as someone that, that's, that is that concerned about cancel culture. Yeah, that's but but do been, you feel... That's why I've been cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm here. <laughs> but, but do you feel, as a comedian, that your colleagues feel that they are holding back? Oh, absolutely. I've eaten, I was at uh, a comedy club with my mate Nico that I do a podcast with, and uh, another comedian came up to him and said, are you right-wing? The optics on your Twitter are right-wing to Nico. And he's, he's just, you know, uh, he's got family values, I guess. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous for comedians to be worried about optics, like they're Keir Starmer, mm. focus grouping and opinion. Man, you're supposed to speak from your heart, speak your own personal truth. And then, you know, people can, can take it or leave it. People are approaching comedy and coming to com comedy clubs in such bad faith these days. I had a, a complaint email uh, sent into Top Secret Comedy where I was doing, I was doing a show there, uh, my own show there every, every month. And uh, somebody wrote in saying, we came to see Leo's show in, in June and it was horrific and offensive and we were disgusted. And we came to see him again in October and he was still horrific and offensive. Can you please stop putting him on? It's like, there's another solution you might not be looking at here. How about you go and see a comedian you like instead of repeatedly coming to see me to get offended? Matthew Sadlin, do you feel that as time has gone on that some jokes just aren't funny anymore and actually it's unacceptable to be telling sexist jokes, for example? Well, I would just ask Leo where you stand on this. First of all, you haven't been cancelled in the, in, in the uh -huh. macro picture. You are on a channel that seems to be doing quite well in oh, terms of its audience. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's, you it's, just happened to be on national TV. TV, you're given a regular platform, so you are not cancelled. No, that's, so that's absolute that. nonsense. I've been cancelled for many clubs. I've been cancelled. But canceled you're here. For... You're no, here. but that's that's not the point. And also, in, in 2017, when I, my show was cancelled from the Perth Fringe in Australia, and they turned round to me and they said, "This is an inclusive space." Just, okay. This, they said, "This is an inclusive space. You have to leave." Which doesn't even make sense. If it's inclusive, <laughs> just let me stay. But w when I was, ca I wasn't on TV then. I mean, everything I've, I've got, I've had to, I've had to fight for. And I get, I get cancelled from other clubs. My tour this year was cancelled, an entire tour. Okay. Now just, that's that's cancel culture. I mean, fair enough. I can do. There are some places that haven't shut their door to me, but I mean, my tour was. So just so 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 let me come back with a quick question. So, where do you draw the line, or is there no line? Simple question. Should people who make, I'm not saying you do, should people who make fun of black people or Jewish people have a show on national television where they make fun of black people yes. and make fun of Jewish people? Yes. Well, if, it, if it's funny, let the audience be the judge. <laughs> this is why comedy doesn't need to be policed. You're performing yeah. in front of a jury. You're performing in front of a jury. And do you think, do you, think you know, if you get 300 people, just regular members of the public, in a, in a theatre, uh, they're going to accept, you know, some horrific... They're going to they're going to willingly go and see some sort of hate crime being committed. I don't like, the, I don't like the way that... You, uh, I'm not going to single you out, but many people that speak about cancel culture or, you know, we need to be inclusive, often bring black people into it, often bring... And it's rubbish. If you used to watch Kings of Comedy, mm. if you watch Dave Chappelle, we are the most brutal when it comes to comedy. And if you look at our culture as well, if you... Try I travelled to the Caribbean, what has made me a resilient, I was born in Barbados, what's made me a resilient woman is literally getting dissed, cursed and made fun of throughout my entire youth. It built resilience. We used to laugh about it around the dinner table and it brought us closer together as family. Sorry, Lynn, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to cancel this <laughs> debate. <laughs>